Hello and welcome e prasaran audience I am in conversation today with a very brilliant award winning writer wearing many hats Kshitij Patwardhan He is an Indian screenwriter theater director playwright writer publisher and lyricist His work includes critically acclaimed commercially successful and culturally significant films like Classmates Double Seat Time Please Wiser, Faster Fene, and Durala. He has a long list of awards to his credit. They include prestigious awards like IMFAA, MICTA, Star Pravaharatna, Z Talkies, Z Gaura. You will be surprised to know that he has uploaded his scripts on his website www.kshitishpatwardhan.in for the benefit of writers. Isn't this amazing? He also has a content curation initiative for upcoming writers or those who want to explore writing. You can find the details on the website I mentioned just now. He has created the first ever Marathi YouTube channel dedicated to writers, poets, lyricists and it is also called uh, the Writers First. So you can check out the, his YouTube channel Writers First and a uh, writer first sorry and also the website for more information about kshitij hello kshitij hi hi welcome to the show language talks i look forward to a wonderful conversation with you thank you thank you i would like to start by congratulating you on your maiden hindi poetry book aadhi neend aadha khwab please tell us more about it so first of all thank you for letting me join uh, this conversation and adhin in aadha khwab is uh, is my maiden poetry book maiden hindi poetry book and uh, this book is basically about 17 western line stations of mumbai of uh, mm-hmm. western uh, suburbs mm-hmm. and uh, ra- ranging from uh, church gate to virar and okay. of all those suburbs where i have lived i have uh, observed life and i've collected uh, numerous moments so it's okay. basically a, a collage of those moments and uh, it took me around 9 to 10 years to completely write that book and okay. uh, i'm i'm very glad that the first edition is sold out before uh, even the launch fantastic congratulations yeah, thank you thank yeah. you thank you so you know kshitish there is an image of poets a very romantic one in a common man's mind that uh, the poet is overcome with inspiration and he writes you know out of somewhere mm-hmm. so what is your take on that i think there is no magic tool uh, for poetry uh, mm-hmm. i think it's it's simply uh, you have to have a compassionate heart first of all mm-hmm. and that's the that's the more that's the that's the most essential thing a poet should possess so mm-hmm. i always uh, i always uh, categorize it in three things one mm-hmm. is compassion out of which you can look at the world in a more compassionate way more considerate way there mm-hmm. is compassion second is curiosity you mm-hmm. have to have curiosity Uh, it gives you a different perspective towards things and it makes life uh, life much more enjoyable much more interesting if you become curious about it so first is compassionate second is curious and third is creative so when you see life in through a compassionate lens or through a curious lens automatically it turns you into a creative person wow it's a yeah. nice recipe for a poet yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's how i have worked and i have been working uh, for last 10 11 years but i mm-hmm. think that's uh, m- more of a kind of combination of curiosity and uh, compassionate attitude and that has uh, really instigated my creativity fantastic yeah shitish you are the, one of the most versatile lyricists in marathi hindi and maybe english later So you have <laughs> penned <laughs> you have penned lyrics for more than 30 films so did you teach yourself this craft or i mean how did you learn or who taught you yeah so by the end of uh, february 2022 i have i will be completing my 52 films uh, as a lyricist and jimma uh, the recent release in marathi which did wonderfully well so that mm-hmm. was my latest release as a lyricist and uh, ba- basically writing on a tune is a totally different craft Mm-hmm. and uh, you have to uh, you have to get hold of the meter uh, the phonetics of it and mm-hmm. much before that you have to understand the feeling of words the feeling of situation uh, mm-hmm. then it uh, you know it inspires you uh, 
to write very promptly very aptly poetically right uh, kind mm-hmm. of lyrics kind of uh, poetry okay. and sometimes you have to understand what the director wants to say uh, uh-huh. what the writer wants to th- say through through the situation because i myself i'm a writer so mm-hmm. i can very well understand that there is a there is a screenplay going on in a in a song also mm-hmm. so every song has a poetic screenplay if you mm-hmm. start a song with one note you mm-hmm. know that by the end of it you are going towards a certain conclusion certain resolution through the song and mm-hmm. that is the screenplay of the song so you have to achieve the screenplay of the song mm-hmm. uh, i i'll just shift to hindi for a song that if you take any song aap koi bhi gana agar le lete ho to shuruaat mein ek lafz hota hai ek cheez hoti hai and through progression you know ki this thing is now converting into like hero and heroine meeting for the first time and mm-hmm. it is getting converted into love mm-hmm. that is also screenplay so you have to write a poetic screenplay over it okay. and that's how i look at uh, uh, song writing and it's a, it's a craft i think mo- uh, first of all it's an intuition you have to mm-hmm. write very intuitively because mm-hmm. words come come to you after that you have to fit those words those ideas into a craft Oh, like okay. if you get a tune from a director which is like na 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 then hmm. you have to end the note on a word which is a ah, which is ending with a ah. okay. that's that's the phonetic of it you can't okay. you can't end the word like e or u so you have to uh, write accordingly and for that you have to have a good knowledge of mm-hmm. phonetics and uh, grammar also because sometimes people think that you know uh, writing is very easy and you just have to make rhymes and all and uh, you have to just use slang languages uh, slang language but that's not true at all so mm-hmm. i think it's very important that you first understand the language its phonetics its structure its grammar and then you will be able to break the rules mm-hmm. okay so i think that's that's very important for a lyricist yeah that's yeah. wonderful yeah. and uh, okay and uh, you received this uh, national creative excellence award twice Yeah. so for, and you wrote for uh, female feticide issue so this is right. a completely genre that you have handled am i right yeah so can you tell us about it actually actually this was uh, during my advertising days i was working with an agency called setu it's like mm-hmm. my second home it was in mm-hmm. pune so i worked as a intern copywriter there uh, mm-hmm. for starting and then uh, slowly i became the copywriter and uh, through that journey i have always uh, been proactive in my journey so i used to take part in competitions on my on uh, on myself only ki uh, okay. every time i used to take part in competitions which are not uh, people are not interested in and people are saying okay. that uh, what uh, maximum what will happen we will win or we don't know about that competition it's a mumbai based competition it's a national mm-hmm. competition nobody is going to entertain us so uh, there are always naysayers but thankfully uh, the agency which i worked in it was surrounded mm-hmm. by people who were very very passionate okay. very very insightful and very very cooperative mm-hmm. so um, uh, i was very very young at that time i was 22 so uh, most of my seniors were very helpful and we created this campaign uh, mm-hmm. basically to fight the issue of female feticide okay. and we were the first agency from pune who won that award that is national creative excellence awards uh, award for social change and it was given by united nations population fund wow. so that was that was an incredible thing and the most important thing uh, out, of, out of that campaign which i learned is that mm-hmm. uh, united nations population fund uh, mm-hmm. used that campaign uh, to promote the issue okay. to make aware uh, to make people aware about the issue so that was a great thing that your work is basically making a social difference that's correct yeah yes. yeah yeah such a important contribution True. yeah uh, you won the screenplay award for faster fane yeah so that became very famous and the books are also famous so was it yeah. based on the marathi books of uh, yeah. bharabapa yeah. yeah so uh, i always uh, as a writer i always uh, want good characters to remain uh, in people's memory forever and faster fane is one such character that the people who are in their late uh, in their 40s or 50s it's 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 their childhood hero and uh, we see now the generation is totally surrounded by spidermans and uh, supermans and marvel universe and dc universe and they are uh, saying that we don't have our own superhero we don't have our own detective our own sherlock holmes so uh, me and aditya the director of the film we came up with the idea ki why not uh, we can come up with a superhero or we can come up with a with a detective 
who is very very likable who is a boy next door who has an extraordinary ability to sense things mm-hmm. which are normal to the uh, which are very very routine to the normal people mm-hmm. and out of that curious again out of that curiosity compassion yeah. the creativity uh, came out and um, we started working on it and it was if we can say that it was india's first teenage detective success, successful teenage detective film oh yes successful also is important yeah yes. yeah yeah successful teenage detective film and right now i'm working on its sequel is sick oh okay good yeah yeah and for that i have uh, done two courses uh, mm-hmm. of forensic sciences oh my god okay yeah one is from a uh, singapore university and the second is from i guess a sweden or switzerland university both courses are online and they are basically okay. introduction to forensic science so i want to take the game a notch higher uh, this time okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. Great. actually and that was my next question that how much uh, research matters to you know how important is it for you for your writing think, uh, text no, then i think time. yeah i think research is a very very fundamental and very very important thing because mm-hmm. without research uh, your assumptions uh, your conclusion becomes your assumptions yeah. without okay. research so so if you want to state anything if you want to tell people anything if you want to tell a story or mm-hmm. convince people about something then the first thing is you have to know 100% about it huh. so okay. you can't take a touristy approach towards everything mm-hmm. i think that's very important that you get to uh, you get to know everything of 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 that subject like when we did faster friday we did a comprehensive research of 25 kids who were in the age group of 16 to 20 i see and mm-hmm. uh, and it's because of those kids we got to know that the main problem these kids are facing it's not else it's it's education mm-hmm. and the donations in education the malpractices in education and that's the topic which is very very close to the parents and teachers and students all over india okay. so because of the research because of the comprehensive research we'll, we were able to understand the gravity of the situation uh, uh, we got to know the grassroots of uh, the issue and uh, the most important thing is the characters around it like okay. we got a agent's character we got mm-hmm. a, a henchman's character a politician's character and sometimes you you feel that these characters are very uh, are drawn in a very broad stroke mm-hmm. like if you see a police inspector has to have a, a swag or lucky a politician has to have, has to be corrupt so there is a prototype of characters which we really wanted to break mm-hmm. and okay. that, that 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 research really helped us a lot mm. okay great yeah. so uh, i mean uh, just joining to this question so what is the most difficult part of this artistic process uh okay let me tell you first of all this is my first english interview so i, I am a little bit nervous because uh, <laughs> english is uh, english is slightly uh, difficult to uh, to gather words and to pronounce Uh, marathi is my first language hindi i love to talk in hindi i love to talk in marathi but english is uh, still something which i really want to uh, you know enhance in and uh, language talks through language talks and through your other videos i think i'll be able to uh, <laughs> i think i'll be able to learn much more about english that's so, a compliment to language talks and yeah. you are so wonderful <laughs> you are doing yeah, just thank you time. thank you thank you thank you so this artistic process is uh, it's a three layer process i again categorize this three layer process in three things that is one is passion and it's just like uh, converting a, a ball of sand into a into a piece it's it's very wow. very similar to that so mm-hmm. first of all you have to apply speed mm-hmm. uh, you have to take the raw material and apply speed and you have to write mm-hmm. you have to write and write and write without analyzing it so most of the writers 99% of the writers fail in that because they do not complete their draft oh okay so you have to write the entire draft first that is mm-hmm. that is that is passion gets involved in that mm-hmm. secondly we always say that rewriting is writing okay so okay. then you have to make a process on it mm-hmm. just like uh, just like any uh, uh, just like any utensil uh, mm-hmm. uh, you make you keep it in the uh, you keep that utensil uh, in the side just mm. to let it dry mm. just yes. to let it dry you have to you have to, you have to let it dry that is the mm. second thing that is process and third and the most important thing is patience uh-huh. unless and until your draft your creativity go
goes through the furnace of patience it's not going to come out fine mm-hmm. i think that's very very important so passion process and patience are the three virtues which a writer should definitely possess fantastically explained yeah. very nice yeah 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 i can see you moving in all genres you know uh, drama then films and uh, other things also so um, uh, can you explain to us the process of writing a drama a play because it's a completely different setup yeah yeah i think writing i think among uh, writing a play writing a film or writing a song or event i think writing a play is the most challenging thing because mm-hmm. it has multiple limitations to it okay uh you have to write in in a in a in a proscenium you have to you have to write for a proscenium you have to write in a specific sequence you have to divide the scenes in a specific sequence you have to create drama in it so there are a lot of obligations and uh, restrictions to write a play while making a cinema you know mm-hmm. that you can definitely create the world mm-hmm. yeah so basically uh, as we say that uh, theater is a make believe art mm-hmm. and cinema is a, is a, is a very very uh what we can say immersive art you get immersed in the cinematic experience mm-hmm. you get immersed in a theater experience also but you have to create that experience mm-hmm. out of nowhere you mm-hmm. don't have anything such as so yeah. i think it's very important to write uh, uh i think it's very important and it's very difficult to write a drama okay. it's very difficult to write a drama because uh, it has multiple restrictions obligations and uh, mostly it, it requires genuine craft Mm-hmm. it requires genuine genuine craft because you have to uh, write in such a way that you engage a lot of people for a lot of time yes i think and that's is, that's yeah yes. that's and that's, that's that's really difficult difficult yes yeah, that's right. yeah and yeah great so yeah. Uh, you produced and published also an illustrated novel in marathi called darya yeah. yeah so i mean you are a publisher also yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, sometimes you have to take some calls which are risky at that time but uh, understanding the longer race understanding the longer goal you mm-hmm. have to keep the ip rights with yourself so okay. out of uh, out of that uh, longer aim longer goal me mm-hmm. and my brother decided that we should launch a publication house and whatever mm-hmm. content we are making which is not a film or not a drama we should uh, be the ip holders of it and that's very important because ip yeah. is going to be the next uh, important game yes. so after 10 years we might make a film on it we don't know but wow, for yeah. that yeah for that we have to have the ip in our hand so that was yeah. one thing and secondly uh, 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 i'm not heard about it or i'm not sad about it but i got some uh, bitter experiences from the publishing world mm. and that's when i decided that i don't uh, you know i don't know i don't want to walk on the on the same path yes. i want to create a new path so for, so uh, in darya actually i suffered some losses but those were learnings which i applied to adhinin ada khwab and okay. thankfully we are uh, on the verge that uh, the first edition is totally sold out and the second will definitely uh, uh, get sold out in in couple of days yeah certainly yes fantastic yeah, 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 yeah. so uh, coming back to your uh, you know language uh, thing you said that you learned in uh, marathi vernacular language and you but you have written the book in hindi yeah so how come i mean how so, did you teach yourself hindi i think i think to embrace a em, embrace a new change is very very important because yes. uh, i have written around 110 songs in marathi mm-hmm. so after that i was i always thought that i want to write in hindi i want to be a hindi lyricist because uh, if you see that we all are grown up of, on hindi songs we mm-hmm. are grown up on marathi songs also but hindi is basically radio tv any medium we are first uh, we, we are a generation which is exposed to hindi songs very early yes <laughs> and and there is there is a genuine tremendous urge in me to write a hindi song i really oh. like i really like writing it so from last 3 4 years i made a conscious effort uh, okay. i attended few mushairas mm. i met few shayars i mm. learned a little bit about urdu i mm. learned a little bit about hindi uh, mm. the dialects of uh, hindi like abdhi bridge bhasha bhojpuri uh, uh, the language which are the languages which are very very 
interesting they have their own flavor they have their own vulnerability they all have their own strength so i started understanding the languages and their patterns and uh, their phonetics because i am a person who loves uh, words their phonetics language and everything so i think that helped me immensely and uh, as time progressed i approached few music director out of which mr amit trivedi was very very generous enough and kind enough uh, to let me work with him and uh, that's how i started my hindi journey and i wrote songs for hasin dil wow it's yeah and secondly of- and secondly if uh, this uh, interview is in me i'd like to tell you another thing that my second hindi film is coming in may it's called oh. rocket gang uh, and it's directed by bosco martis so bosco uh, sir is a very very well known choreographer in hindi circuit and he is a multiple national award winner film fair award winner choreographer and it is his directorial debut that's great yeah. congratulations to him Thank and to you also Thank and we look forward to it yes sure so, sure uh, okay some few last questions because yes, you sure. have very less time yeah. so yeah. there is a clear distinction being made you know in urban and rural literature now with the advanced technology and social media so mm-hmm. do you see this line blurring or do you see this distinction uh, being still made What no i think saying? i think the line is totally blurring that is because uh, the world now knows that uh, the cont- if the content is local hmm. then there is a huge possibility that it will become global hmm. if you i'll give you an example there is a there is a hmm. small film called minnala murli in uh, okay. malayalam you can watch it on netflix it's a brilliant brilliant superhero film okay and mm-hmm. it's not in the zone of spider man or superman or where the world is at stake and half the population is going to be dead okay it's basically about a small village but mm-hmm. a superhero in a village tackles a super villain in the village oh okay and they both are enforced by the same power mm-hmm. one gets the power in a positive way and one gets the power in a negative way. oh okay so this is a formula which is brilliant which is applicable in any language and which truly makes the local film universal okay. so i think in terms of language in terms of drama in terms of poetry in terms of fiction book writing everything is getting blurred because people are watching money heist in spanish in like la casa de papel people are watching five seasons people are watching pushpa in theaters in That's maharashtra in the telugu yeah. version also the hindi version also <laughs> so i think people are now uh, they are liking more and more things which they are mm-hmm. not aware of yes they want to get into those unknown territories correct what happens in your village what happens in uh, you know his territory people really want to know mm-hmm. that what's the world out there what's the second se- uh, second zone out there which they are totally unaware of mm-hmm. and i think that's a, that's a beautiful thing yes that's a welcome change that is yeah. coming about so with that and, and the, yeah and the second underlying change is that mm-hmm. people are uh going towards more and more uh tire to tire three cities and villages uh-huh. if you okay. see the the hindi cinema narrative is changing if you see that after, before 5 years or 10 mm-hmm. years the hero used to come from london mm-hmm. <laughs> or from usa now yeah. the hero lives in jhansi meerut uh kanpur pune indore all okay. these all these uh, cities which are going to be metro cities they are tire two cities so i think that's that's a fundamental change which hindi cinema is also undergoing because okay. now being desi is the new cool okay being rural is the new cool so mm-hmm. i think that's a that's a very very welcoming change and i think i think it will blur all the lines between a local thing and a global thing great great yeah yeah so you've been in this language industry for uh, quite some time so what is yeah. the one thing that you would like to change in this in this industry i think the respect towards writers okay mm-hmm. yeah that's that's very important because uh, uh payments timelines deadlines uh, work structures work ethics payments uh, all these all these things writers are suffering uh, you know badly they are suffering okay. badly and mm-hmm. uh, fortunately i have been with people mm-hmm. who are very very respectful towards me who are very very uh, timely in terms of the payments okay. but i know around 90% of the writers they don't get paid on time they don't get proper credit they don't get proper valuation of their work so i think that needs to change every other round table conference the big producers directors and everyone talk about it 
but uh, unfortunately the situation uh, is not changing at the grassroots level or at the mid, mid level okay so i think a basic minimum common program has to be there for writers yes. like if you are writing a particular language film there is a minimum amount of uh, money you mm-hmm. should get a mm-hmm. there is a minimum amount of royalty you should get there is a minimum mm-hmm. amount of uh, valuation you should get respect mm-hmm. you should get i think that that needs to be done because okay. it will give a, a strong entry point to aspiring writers yes certainly they they will also look forward to writing a film they will also yes. look forward to write a drama i think that's mm-hmm. very very important to you know to invite them with such offers mm-hmm. that they'll also think that i have to work in this because it's lucrative it's good mm-hmm. it's motivating it's inspiring i have, i think we all have to create such an environment which is very very inspiring and motivating so creative freedom and financial stability are two very very important things which the industry should give writers yes very important key terms yes yeah yeah um, kshitish can you tell us about your upcoming projects okay so there are multiple projects which are lined up so as i mentioned rocket gang is one of them uh, for which i have written songs so rocket gang directed by Mos- bosco martis and uh, music by amit trivedi i have written three songs for it uh, Uh, then uh, tomorrow uh, my very very important assignment is getting released so mm-hmm. uh, uh, tomorrow very very important assignment of mine is releasing so it's basically i have worked with 16 olympic and paralympic medal winners and oh. uh, yeah so for the first time they are coming together and i have written a poem which is called uh, man mein hai maidan and oh. they all are uh, they all have shot on the poem and none other than mr amitabh bachchan has recited my poem so that's that's a that's a yeah. special thing that's a really special thing it's really special my yeah, god yeah. yes yeah yeah and that's so these two things and apart from that i'm writing faster fine sequel and mm-hmm. i'm writing a hindi untitled feature for madoc films okay okay yeah yeah great i wish you all the best yeah. for your and, and of oh course god. there are seven to eight marathi films for which i have written lyrics they are ready for release so hopefully they'll get released in next year Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. And what are your future plans, Kshitish? Future plans are uh, one is uh, to write a novel, which mm-hmm. I have been writing for for, for last five years. So mm-hmm. hopefully, I'll complete it this year and I'll publish mm-hmm. it. Uh, secondly, I have to direct a play again. I want to direct a play again. Uh, after okay. Don Special, I haven't directed anything for five years. Mm-hmm. So mostly, I'll write. Uh, this time, I'm thinking of a musical. So hopefully, I'll, I'll direct a musical play. Uh, mm-hmm. i want to venture into film directing but i think that's totally different ball game and you have to shut down on every work and you have to totally get concentrated on one thing for at least a year and mm-hmm. you have to manage your finances manage your responsibilities manage your workload according to that so that is on the cards but uh, i am still uh, you know contemplating with the possibility okay. uh, so there's a battle there's a constant battle going on between rationality and uh, what we can say intuition but uh, uh, let's see who wins yes <laughs> yeah. i'm sure you will do it one day why not let's hope let's hope yeah. yeah and uh, yes thank you for joining us today Shidesh. yes thank you it thank you lalita thank wonderful you wonderful conversation and i wish thank you all the best from thank the so prasaran audience and from me for all your future plans and thank upcoming you. projects thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you so much bye bye thank you bye bye thank you झनक झनक झन झंकारिता अखिल जगत भुलवी आहा रसिक मनान चाता गीत कहाणिया गीत गुजेही सांगे अभिनव